Hi guys, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Darlington. I'm one of the doctors at Medical City Hospital Oweri. Today I'd like to talk about um, frequently asked questions regarding dialysis. Okay, so first of all, what is dialysis? So um, the kidneys are important organs in the body that help the body to remove excess fluid and um, waste products. So if for some reason something happens to your kidneys and your kidneys start to fail, then something has to be done to help your body remove these waste products. So this is where dialysis comes in. Essentially dialysis is a procedure that helps the body to remove excess fluid and excess products when the kidneys have failed. So now the next question would be what can cause your kidneys to fail? Okay, a lot of things can cause kidney failure actually and even um, in our current climb, even younger people are beginning to come down with kidney failure. Now, um, the commonest causes of kidney failure include um, long-term medical conditions like high blood pressure and diabetes. But in addition to these um, conditions, certain other things like um, taking a lot of alcohol, smoking, um, taking a lot of herbal medications and even taking painkillers for a prolonged period of time can actually cause your kidneys to begin to fail. So you don't really want to be doing any of these things and even if you have um, a long-term medical condition, you want to ensure that it is properly managed okay, either by your lifestyle changes or by taking medications. Now, what happens during dialysis? Okay, so during dialysis, blood is um, taken out of your body through a vessel, and then this blood is then passed through a special machine which filters out the excess fluid and excess waste products. Okay, basically, that machine acts like an artificial kidney, and after that filtration happens, the filtered blood is then returned to your body. So, this is essentially what happens during dialysis. Okay, and people tend to get dialysis or do um, dialysis sessions sometimes three times in a week, depending on Okay, the state of their kidneys. Now, um, most people also believe that once you start dialysis, it means you have to do it for life. But unfortunately, uh, people who have long-term conditions, kidney conditions that are, you know, not curable, yes, they might have to do dialysis for a long term. Okay, and they may even have to, you know, undergo a kidney transplant in the future. However, if the cause of the kidney problem is something that is reversible, is something that is curable, then of course you wouldn't have to do dialysis like for forever, basically. So the final question would be, how do I prevent kidney failure? Okay, so kidneys are very vital organs, like I said earlier, it's something you want to pay close attention to, okay? So first of all, it's very advisable that you um, go for regular kidney function checkups, okay? So at least twice in a year, you know, check your kidney function to be sure there's nothing going on. And even if there's something going on, you want to probably address it at the early stage, okay? Then it's important that, of course, you eat healthy as much as possible. Um, avoid foods that are high in fat content, high in salt content, high in sugar content, okay? Avoid taking alcohol, avoid smoking as much as possible or, you know, the barest minimum as much as possible. And avoid taking herbal medications and even painkillers for a long period of time. If you have pain, you know, have a prescription from medical personnel. Don't just self-medicate, okay? And if, if you're on the high side, it's important to watch your weight, okay? Basically, try to live um, as healthy as you can, take a lot of water, and I mean, your chances of having a kidney problem will be quite reduced.